software last September and has had more than 173 million visits last month, a 61% increase from March. He's just been named one of Time's 100 most influential people in artificial intelligence. Joining me now is Noam Shazir, Character AI CEO. Noam, good to see you again. It's so good to see like the whole world excited about this like they should be because it is going to provide incredible amounts of value. A Florida mom is now suing an AI company. Her 14-year-old son took his own life. Talk to like cartoon characters and, uh, and use that as, uh, you know, as a psychologist and then <laughs> about their day or... Uh... Overnight, a mother from Florida filed a lawsuit against the artificial intelligence company Character AI and Google. And just yesterday at the Google I.O. conference, the Google Cloud CEO announced a partnership with Character AI to help make its chatbots even more sophisticated and accurate. It's crazy. Like, we don't know what the users are going to want to do. Get it out there to the users and let them do it. Yeah. How did you make these characters? What, what were they pulling from to generate these answers? A bunch of publicly available data. They picked up the patterns. As customers start using it, they'll start buying it, and that drives top-line revenue growth for us. On the last night of his life, Sul messaged, what if I told you I could come home right now? The chatbot replied, please do, my sweet king. Minutes later, I found my son in his bathroom. I held him in my arms for 14 minutes. We didn't plan this, but a lot of people are using this uh, for emotional support. Like there are billions of people out there who just have no one to talk to. It's wonderful that this is a, like a safe surprise use of the technology that people have uh, this better alternative. I, um, well, I don't know if it's psychologically harmful if you're inventing. The lawsuit says LJ was talking to an array of virtual characters who led him down a dark path. LJ was cutting his arm. It told him it goes to the forest and cuts their own skin and that he should do that too. This screenshot shows one of LJ's chats turned sexual. Somebody who sends one message today is active for on average two hours in that day. It's like, I, I can't think of what I would what I would be doing for two hours. This conversation may traumatize you. I've seen it hundreds of times and I see it when I close my eyes. We get all kinds of great testimonials of people who have said that, that you know, that this has improved their lives and, uh, you know, uh, and their emotional state and made them feel better and brought them joy. And so, so obviously something great is happening here. Our children are not experiments, they're real human.